Go ahead, Chase. Scott, obviously they were able to take the lead pretty late there. Uh, what do you think allowed them to get back in and take control? Um, well, one, they're a good team. They're a good team. They got a lot of good players. And, and Trey, Trey's, a, Trey's an all-star. He puts them in a position. Um, we made some mistakes um, that helped them get those points late in the fourth quarter. Um, but those are things that got to got to do a little bit better job. And uh, for the most part, I mean, this came down to a one possession game, basically. But the biggest play of the day was we're up two. From my angle, we had a good good look, and the verticality is always in question if you don't go up with two hands. Um, for like thirty something seconds to go, but it's a. I mean, that that, that could have gone either way as well. So, but. Like I said, it was, it was both teams played hard. You know, that's the only thing I can say. It's disappointing that we didn't come away with a, a win or two on this trip uh, in Atlanta, but we got to bounce back and and come back Friday night against the Cavs. And what went into uh, just the the rotation there at the end? Um, wh why did you uh, decide to go with some of those guys? I think Ish and, and Alex Len played a good deal in the fourth quarter. Yeah, just uh, fatigue was a factor in certain players. That's why you have a team. Everybody has a chance to step up. If it goes well, it's great moves. If it doesn't go well, it's not. But fatigue is a factor, and how you play is also a factor. Just because you can't just you don't get you don't get just minutes just because you're who you are. You got to you got to earn them, and that's why we have a good team. That's why we. We bounced up during this tough time because we've been through some adversity and everybody gets an opportunity. You can go down the line. Everybody's had opportunities to, to win a game or two during this stretch. Matt. Hey, Scott, just following up on that, um, in terms of Gafford being, was that a fatigue thing? Were, were, his, men, were his legs oh, okay? Like, I made a decision. You know, he played a, a long stretch and they felt he needed a break and then I stayed with Alex because I thought we needed we needed his length, but you know, I, hindsight probably could have um, made a, made a change. But that's what, like I said, that's why you have a team. Everybody has the chance to step up. We got three pretty good centers. Uh, Howell, I mean, um, Rollo didn't play much tonight, so I mean, he's you can argue for him too. Thanks, Neil. Scott. Last week, you said that you wanted to get uh, Gafford more minutes in the five games since then. He's not played more than 17 minutes. Are you con Would you consider starting him to get more minutes? Do you think he's earned those minutes? How are you going to get him more well, minutes? We have, we have three good centers, Neil. I understand your question. Um, we have three good centers, and they all need to play, and they've all done well. We've gone this far with them, and you know, some nights he's going to get more, and some nights that he's not going to get more. He's played well. He's a good player. Fred. Hey, Scott. Uh, what What have you seen from Hutchison in these uh, in these couple of games with Brad out, and he's gotten more minutes? Yeah, he's um, he's getting a little more comfortable. He just needs to. Sometimes he he, he keeps it in in a in a higher gear than he needs to be, but. I like that. I like guys that play high gear than a, than a, than a low gear that you always got to rev them up. Um, he, he's a young developing player. He hasn't played much this year. Now, these are important minutes. These are minutes that we're fighting for, you know, or getting into the playoffs or the playing game. But I think he's played well. He's earned, he's earned some minutes and earned some opportunities. He's still got a lot of things to improve on and, and he will. Thought he, I thought he attacked a little bit better. He just has to learn how to, be able to fight through a little bit of the contact because he's not going to get those calls. You got to fight through it and you got to give yourself a chance to make some of those scoring plays around the basket. And those, those are things that he's going to get stronger with. Ava. I obviously know if you had the answer, things would turn out differently, but what do you feel like isn't clicking in, in fourth quarters? Are you seeing different things that are happening every time or are there kind of patterns that you're, I guess, able to identify late? 
Well, I think the defensively, you know, tonight was was a was a problem in the fourth. Um, last game, it was the third quarter. We were scoring a bunch of points. I think we scored forty five in the fourth last game. Um, you know, we're make we're adjusting on the fly. Also, Brad has missed two games. Uh, those are all these things that every team is going to have to adjust, including myself. Um, those are things that we have to figure out. Um, and do better. We need to play a better quarters, better four quarters. We, we seem to have a couple of stretches in, in a couple of quarters, whether I can do a better job of rotations. And, um, but those are things that I will critique myself and my staff will go back and try to figure out ways to get more consistent minutes on both ends of the floor. And, you know, every, every night you have a little bit more offensive players or a little bit better defensive players. And you try to get a combination of both and you try to put yourself in a position that you're going to have good four quarters. Um, and then you mentioned that um, Brad was going to get some pregame work done. I don't know if you were able to talk to him or, or watch him doing that, but how did he seem if you were? No, I mean, I wanted to go out there and watch. I just, I got caught up in doing some other things before the game, but I, I don't know. I haven't asked, but. Just when I'm hearing everything's trending in the right direction, we're going to reevaluate Friday and, and see how he feels and, and just continue to go from there. We're Like I said earlier, we're no rush. He wants to come back. We would love to have him back. He's doing everything in his power to do it and treatments throughout the day. And he's, he's doing what he needs to do. And just the body, the body heals um, day by day. And, and whenever he's ready, obviously I'm going to, bring him back into the starting lineup. Thank you. All right. Zach. Hey, coach. Uh, was fatigue a factor in Rui not playing down the stretch today as well? I mean, what did you see from him tonight? No, I, I, I didn't think he played played well down the stretch. I thought he was, I thought he had a couple of important opportunities to get a stop and he didn't play well. And DB gave us an opportunity to make some threes and that's the thing, you know, you, we got, we have a, we got a pretty good team and that's why we're a team. You know, no one, no one's always, no one's going to get all the minutes and nobody's going to get all the shots and nobody's going to, no one's always going to be, you know, happy. Everybody's competitive. Everybody wants to play. And it wasn't his night to finish the game. You know, you know I'm, I'm anticipating that he comes back better uh, next game. And he will really, very rarely really has two games that he's not, at his best. Thank you. Last question to Chase. Scott, is you guys do get close to potentially clinching a spot in the playing tournament. Generally, kind of when a team gets close to something like that, uh, what needs to be the mindset and the approach to kind of see it through across the finish line? Well, we we got to we got to um, got to close out games. It's no question. We played a lot of games, you know, sometimes even myself included, we look at all of our athletes and on our team and throughout the league that this is easy. Why aren't they playing? Why aren't they running harder? Why aren't they, why are they look fatigued? It's been a, it's been a long season and a tough season. And we try to keep everything spread out so everybody can stay fresh and healthy as best they can during a very, challenging season for the whole league, not just our team. Thought we've done a pretty good job with that, but we got to do a better job of closing out quarters and and we got to figure it out until, you know, next couple of our couple couple of days to figure that out. All right. Thanks, coach. Thanks guys. Raise your hand. Go ahead, Ava. Hey, Davis. Um, just wondering if you guys are able to kind of identify a, a pattern here late in the fourth quarter. I think your past five losses, even though they've been pretty spread out, have been really, really close. Well, I think in the in the last couple of months, we had not just losses, we had wins and losses were close. So I don't think if there's any pattern there besides just us having close games. Um, what I guess works in those wins compared to the losses that uh, Scott mentioned defense in the fourth quarter that was off tonight. Is it like third quarter stretches that you're seeing are kind of the issues? I think it's just like the short stretches then, you know, they make a run. Like we were up 
whatever, 13, 12, they make a 6 0 8 0 run, they're back in the game. You know, that, that's the time when uh, we kind of had to push through and uh, extend the lead instead of letting them back in the game. Chase. Davis, um, obviously not too many games left in the regular season, but you've uh, started to shoot the ball pretty well from three of these last two. Uh, does it feel like you're starting to kind of regain a rhythm and, and heat up a little bit? No, you know, it, it, no, it's, it's game to game. You know, there's different types of defenses thrown uh, at us. You know, some teams play regular defense, not not really care about who's the shooter or not. They have their their game plan, how they do in their system, and uh, and and some of those games it's easier to get looks. And then there's some teams that, you know, as as example, it was San Antonio. You know, they just have somebody stare in my eyes the whole time, and, and that's a completely different game. And uh, and most I can do is just set screens and get guys open and hope they make a mistake at some point. So, you know, it's just, it's, it's not easy to keep the rhythm in, in some of those games. So, yeah, all I got to do is compete on the defensive end. And then on offense, if I get good with those looks, if the defense is giving me those opportunities, use them. And then how would you describe uh, the, the look that you had uh, with about nine seconds there to go? Um, what, what was the play and, and um, was it a clean look? Uh, that was basically the play. Uh, I came off, once I let it go, I felt like it was going in. You know, it hit the rim twice and uh, it was right there. Once I let it go, the feeling was it's going in. Neil. Hey, Davis, I'm sure you guys, you know, thought, okay, you guys have a chance for the eight seed in the planned tournament, but then you guys have these two close losses to Atlanta. What's the mood right now in the locker room? Uh, <laughs> we're pissed off as we should be. You know, we, we want to win games. Uh, these two were important for us to, you know, get closer to that eight spot and, you know, having a better chance at the playoffs. And, uh, yeah, you know, that's just natural as it is, you know, it's a good way to react to losses and uh, it's going to help us for the next games. Jay Rochelle. Hey, Davis. How do you guys move forward and prepare for Cleveland um, on Friday? Well, honestly, I haven't had a chance to what today's Wednesday. I uh, haven't had a chance to think about Friday yet. You know, we got to fly at home. And then tomorrow we got a day we can start start prepping for the next game. All right, Davis, I think that's it. Right. Appreciate you. Yeah. Hey, Russ, uh, from your vantage point, what do you think allowed the Hawks to get back in there and, and take the lead so late and come away with this one? I don't know. I'll watch it and see, but just got to be tougher. That's it. And um, – you know, when you're on a team that is as close as you guys are to clinching something, like in this case, the, the play-in tournament, uh, what does the mindset need to be to kind of see it through and, and get across that finish line? Um, you know, you just got to compete. That's about it. The rest will take care of itself. You just got to make sure we're competing. Fred? Russ, what have you seen from Gary? Effort that's allowed him to have so much more success with you guys? Uh, just playing hard, been, been in the right spot. Whenever he's in the right spot, he's good for us on both sides. Jay Rochelle. Hey, Russ, where do you got, where do you think you guys went wrong tonight? I mean, you guys had the lead in the fourth and, you, you know, you lost it and came up short, but where do you guys think you guys went wrong tonight? Uh, like I just said, I'll look at the film and see. Anyone else? All right, thanks, Russ. All right, that's it for tonight, guys. See you back on Friday.